Cause I know why the heathen rage Cause the guys be bringing it out we bringing This it kingdom out. we bringing it down now. Lost sheep we'd have been found Fire. Wait until we get a crown Crown talk yeah. Just that crown talk yeah. Nehemiah don't want be like Nino Brown now uh. Cause this that king talk Who? Real life king talk Who? Like Solomon I see things clearly like a greenhouse The wordplay can't get colorful The scriptures cutting you the butter too Not to mention we a living legend Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you You better watch and just take notes The father sent the flood then a rainbow But his son coming back with fire So it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats Let me tell you what the prophecy Unparalleled with the prophecies Stopping Fritz, bodies in the street My people property in this monopoly Call it America, where the dreams come true when nightmares and the demons come to decide on my agenda, I don't give a damn if you offended. Cause this now, um, you ever heard of people wearing kilts? You know what a kilt is, huh? Yep. What's another word for a kilt? Dress. A uh, dress. Right. Now, who who wears kilts? Most most of the people that Scottish, what um they Scottish? Uh, what would would you call them? Um, Caucasian? Yeah. They wear that, don't they? Bring it out. You you understand that? Right. Yeah. Now, are those Scottish people? What are they to the Israelites? They are enemies. You are exactly right. Right. Y'all understand that? This man here is on. He understand. Do you know your nationality? I'm Irish. You're Irish. Uh. Caucasian. Yes. Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. All right. I'm finna, I want to read something. Give me Genesis 25 and 25. Let me Bring show you out. something. I want to show y'all something. And I need you to understand this because then we're going to get John 316. And we're going to break John 316 down. Y'all understand? Yeah. Read that. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. Uh huh. And the first came out red. All over, like a hairy garment. Uh huh. And they called his name Esau. They called him what? Esau. Read. And after that came his brother out. Uh huh. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. Uh huh. And his name was called Jacob. Did y'all notice they did not describe the color of Jacob? But whose color did they describe? Who? Esau. Right, what right. color did they say Esau was? Red all over, like a hairy garment. Now, in the South, what do the Caucasian people call themselves? So who, who is this in the Bible that's Esau? Who in the Bible? We know who Jacob is. Jacob's name got changed to Israel. That's right. That's us so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. We are the Israelites. Right. Who is this Esau? Say it again, bro. Who is Esau, bro? Sorry. Who is Esau? White people. Let's go to Romans chapter 9, verse 13. But see, I got to show you. Y'all need to understand who y'all dealing with. The most high God is absolute. He not playing with us. That's right. We need to recognize what's going on around us and come back and keep God's commandment. Because God, when Christ come back, it's not going to be a pretty day. He's not coming back passing out lollipops. Right. right. Yeah. There ain't going to be no lollipops when he come back. Right. He come back killing folks. Right. And if you ain't right with him, guess what? The same man that brought you over here on those slave ships, Esau, you going down with him. Read that. That's right. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Now, I'm asking all the question. Does God love everybody? Does God love everybody? She said yes. Does God love everybody, sis? Uh, I can't hear what she say. She said, yeah. What you say, bro? Does God love everybody? I've been told yes. You've been told yes. And you say yeah. What about the brother with you? What did he say? What you say? All right, all right. Let's, well, let's read it. I'm not going to say this. We're going to read what God says out the Bible. Y'all ready? Read it out. Read it. 
Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh huh. As it is written. So it's written in the book of Malachi. We can go read that too. Read. Jacob have I loved. Who is Jacob? Who is Jacob? Jacob name got changed to who? Israel. But Esau. But who? Esau. Read. Have I hated? Wait a minute. This is the God that created the heavens and the earth. That's right. Yep. It's the God that created the heavens and the earth. He said, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean, bro? Do I have to say it? Bring it out! Yeah. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Sister, did you hear that? So does God love everybody? Read it again. I'll, I'll... That's what you say. Give me Psalm 5 and 5. Let's read this. Let's read this. We love questions. We like when people uh, make comments. We love it. We love this Bible. Read this. He right. said, the sister said, he loves everybody, but he just hate their ways. Y'all heard that? Read. Psalm chapter 5 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh -huh. Thou hatest. Hold up. God hate who? All workers of iniquity. The Bible said God hate all workers of iniquity. So it ain't. It ain't that he loved the person that hate they sin. He loved the person that works that sin. If you a carpenter, that's your work. That's what you are. And you a carpenter. If you I'll put it like this, if you got on a blue suit uh, with a badge on, with a gun on the side of your hip, what? Are, more than likely, what are you? A police. Right. So that's what you do. You police. Read that again. Thou foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh huh. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So the Bible said God hates all the workers of iniquity. You understand that? So it ain't just about he loved the person but hates the sin. That ain't what the Bible said. You would not find that in the Bible. Right. right. Somebody lied to us and told us that. Right. But we can read and write now. Yeah. It's not against the law for us to read and write. Right. Did y'all understand that one time it was against the law for us to read and write? Teach. We can read and write now. Right. We must. Brother, let me. I, if you want to hide something from a black person, what do you put it in? In a what? We can read it right now, bro. That's this right. been this been here for years. This been here. That's exactly right. We are the Israelites. Right. We are God's chosen people, right. and we must come back and keep God's commandments right. if we want rulership here on the earth. Right. Give me Romans nine thirteen. Bring it out. I mean thirteen and nine. Give me Romans thirteen and nine. I want y'all to hear something. These are things that's in the Bible that we have not heard before. The pastors in those churches ain't teaching us. Right. They're taking tithes, and, and believe it or not, tithes was never money. Right. Right. Tithes was always uh, uh, seeds and fruits and, and oil and wine. Read that, bro. Romans chapter 13, verse 9. I want y'all to hear this. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. I'm, excuse me. Revelation 13, 9. Revelation 13, 9. My bad, my bad. Right. Revelation 13 and 9. I, I want y'all to understand this because we serve a just God. Right. And God ain't going to allow stuff to happen and not give a recompense for that. Y'all right. understand that, right? Read that. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear. So all of us got ears out here, right? So we, it's not talking about those kind of ears. It's talking about a have an understanding. Right. Read. Let him hear. You got to hear this. You got to understand what's, what he's going to be, what he's saying. Read. He that leadeth into captivity shall who, go into uh, captivity. Who led us into captivity? Who led us into captivity? My ancestors. Read it again. He that leadeth into captivity. So this is Christ. This is in red writing. Saying he that leadeth into captivity shall what? Shall go into captivity. What does that mean? What does that mean? Three, he that killed with the sword. So, the person that killed our people with the sword, with the gun, with the knife, read, must be killed with the sword. That's right. Y'all understand that? Now, read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So, who gonna do all that? Give me Isaiah 63, because we're not gonna. 
we're not we're not advocating nobody pick up knives no pistol guns and knives we're not advocating nobody do that the, the most high god gonna do that when christ returns he gonna do that we non-violent whatsoever non-violent that's right so we're not advocating that anybody recompense no man evil the most high god gonna do that read that six three and one Isaiah 63 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Who is this that cometh from Edom? So the Bible is talking about when Christ come back, he coming, he, he going to talk to Edom. He going to deal with them, read. With thy garments from Basra, uh -huh. that this is glorious in his apparel. So he was glorious in his apparel, read. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Read. I that speak in righteousness, uh -huh. mighty to save. Read. Wherefore out thou red in thine apparel. So why is Christ clothes red? Read. And thy garments like him that treaded the wine fat. Read. I have treaded the wine press alone. So Christ said he tread the wine press alone. That's right. Alone. He gonna do that. Read. And of the people. There was none with me. So nobody won with Christ when he going to do this thing. When he going to do this. Read. For I will tread them in my anger. He going to do that in his anger. Read. And trample them in my fury. That's what Christ going to do. That's so right. we don't have to do none of that. Yeah. We don't want y'all to uh, think that we advocate no kind of violence. What we must do, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What we must do is come back and keep God's commandments. That's, That's our right. only way out. That's right. That's our, brother, do you understand that? Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 7-3. Bring it out. Hey, brother. Do you understand that God never ordained for us to have interracial marriage? God never ordained for us to have interracial marriage. Right. Do you understand that? Deuteronomy 7-3. Seven, seven, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Uh -huh. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Read. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Give it a one in Tobit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Tobit 4 and 12. Tobit 4 and 12. Let me show you something, bro. Because what has happened is uh, we fall in love or uh, call ourselves fall in lust with, uh, with people that's, that oppressed us. People that God don't love. Bring it out. People that, that's going to cause us to get destroyed right with them. Right. I hope you all understand that. I hope y'all understand that. The scripture said, come out from among them. Y'all done heard that in the Christian church. Y'all heard that on Sunday. Come out from among them. Read that in Tobit, bro. Tobit, chapter 4, verse 12. Uh-huh. Beware of all whoredom. So the Bible says, beware of all whoredom. Read. My son. Uh-huh. And chiefly, take a wife. Take a wife from who? Of the seed of thy fathers. Of the seed of thy father. That's who you're supposed to take a wife from. Do you see red birds hanging out with blue birds? Do red birds hang out with blue birds? Right out. No, they don't. No, they don't. Come on, man. Y'all understand. understand. You don't see red birds hanging out. Are, are red birds and blue birds mating? No, man. Yeah, huh? Rabbits and, foxes. Rabbits and foxes hanging out together. That ain't so. I can't hear you guys. Speak up. So when you have both, the red and the blue, together, mixed into one person, which direction are you supposed to go? Read that. Okay, okay, okay. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Uh, what your father is? Indian. Your father's an Indian? So you a Gaddai. All praise to the most high. All praise you good, sis. Uh, give me give me numbers one and eighteen. I'm gonna show you when you got a, when you got a red and a bluebird mix, you said. You got both of them. So your father is the Indian. Yo let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna read it to you. We got answers out the Bible. Numbers chapter one verse eighteen. Listen up, listen up. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Read. And they declared their pedigree. So a pedigree is called a bloodline. Y'all understand that? The pedigree is the bloodline. You understand that? They declare the pedigree what? After their families. After their families. By the house of their fathers. So who the bloodline go through? Your father. Your fa if your father is a Native American Indian. Choctaw Indian. Indian. All praise to the Most High, sis. You are an Israelite. That's right. That's right. You are an Israelite. Right. You understand that? 
because you go by the house of your fathers. That's what the scriptures say. That's all we can go off of right. is what the scriptures say. Right. Now, we do understand we may have some people that's darker than me. And their daddy is like that brother there. Guess what they are? So it ain't about color. Right. It's about right. your yeah. nationality. Right. Y'all understand that? It's not about color, cause uh, what's 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 the um the the, the lady name? She um she appears to be black, but her father's a, a Mariah, Carey. Mariah Carey. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Y'all understand these people? They they appear to be one thing, but the Bible, according to your um fathers, your father's lineage, that's what you are. Right. right. That's what you are. So, sis, what you gotta do? John 14, 15. What you gotta do? Bring it up. Sis, you wanna dress every day? I mean, yeah, I do now. You do now since you've been knowing you as Islam. So you got what you gotta do, what you gotta put on those dresses? Branches. Branches. Then you gotta loosen them up some. Right. Gotta get them off the skin. Right. Got it? Right. Sis, what you gotta do? You got to come out of the pain. Read this. Read it. This is what Christ said. This is what Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, said. Read it. John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. So what did Christ say? If you love me, keep my commandments. So who who is this right here? Who is this? Sis, who is this? Who is that? You understand that? Who is this, y'all? That's God. Who is this, sis? Because I, I went to a church. I went to a Baptist church in Columbia, Mississippi. They had a, uh, a picture of this guy. This is the picture they had in the baptism in the church where you go get baptized in. It's right behind the preacher. They had that picture there. And I grew up thinking that Christ was a so-called white man until I started to read the Bible. Because I'm going to tell you something along, give me, uh, what is it, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Because with this guy here, with this guy here comes a, um, a doctrine. Meaning there's stuff that this guy said that you can do. Such as celebrate Christmas. Such as celebrate birthdays. Such as go to church on Sunday. Such as eat unclean meat. Such as shrimp, crab, lobster, crawfish, pork, uh, all that evil stuff. Right. All that unclean stuff. Read that. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Uh-huh. For the weapons of our warfare. 11 and 4. 11 and 4. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh-huh. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So the Bible says he that cometh preaching another Jesus. Who preached to us that this was Jesus? Who did that? Who did that, bro? That's back on me again. That's back on you again. You know, bro. All praise. Read. If he that come and preach to another Jesus, read. Whom we have not preached. Whom this Bible don't preach. Or read. Or if we, or if ye receive another spirit. So what spirit comes along with that being Jesus? Do as thy will. Do what you want to do. Right. You're saved under grace. Read. Which ye have not received. Uh-huh. Or preach another gospel. Another gospel comes up now saying you can celebrate Christmas. Right. New Year's. What? How is New Year's in the middle of the winter? Right. How is New Year's in the middle of the winter? Ain't nothing new. Right. How's it New Year? How does... Brother, you're an intelligent man. According to your knowledge, if something is becomes new, what time of the year would it be? The end. Say again. After the end, probably. Yeah, towards, good answer. After the end, probably that's towards. Good. That's a good. One. Spring, when, summer. Say, when do things start to grow new in earth? When does the grass start to grow? When do the trees start to bud? During summer, logically. Springtime. Springtime, summer, yeah. Stuff springing anew. So y'all understand that? Springtime. That's when the new year begins. Right. Not in the dead of winter. Right. In the middle of the night. Right. How does that? What, does that make any sense? Read. Which ye have not accepted, uh -huh. ye might well bear with it. So we got to contend with that thing. So we're not going for that no more. We can read and write now. Give me the, what Christ really looked like. 
You know what Christ really looked like? Revelation. Because he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's what Christ said. Let's read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had white woolly hair. White in color and woolly in texture. Who has woolly hair? Sis, if you didn't have that perm on that wit, you have woolly hair. Woolly hair. You got a perm in your hair? As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. As if they burned in a furnace. So y'all know what color brass is, right? That's kind of like a penny. And if you burn anything, what color does it turn? So what color was Christ? So why did they show him as being a so-called white man? As Esau. Bring it out. Why did they do that to us? Why did they lie to us? Make your blood. Say again. Control. Control. You are exactly right, brother. Control. So now the cat is out the bag. Right. We are the children of Israel. We must come back and keep God's commandments. That's right. right. Y'all got any more questions? We finna shut it down. You got a question? How does this apply onto me, I guess? Because all my ancestors are white. How do how do Isaiah I 14. like come from Israel? If I do. Isaiah 14. Let me show you something, bro. Uh, let me show you that. I'm just gonna read it and I'm gonna let you get it. Read Isaiah 14 and 1. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Y'all sisters, listen up to this also. This applies to you. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Who is Jacob? Israel. Read. And will yet choose Israel. He gonna yet choose us. The Lord gonna yet choose the Israelites. Yes, Read. Right. And set them in their own land. He gonna, we ain't gonna, we ain't gotta go take nothing. He gonna set us in our own land. What's, you know what our own land is? Africa. Jerusalem. That's right. Those people over there that they claim to be the Jews, they're not. Right. Let me show you that real fast, then we'll get back to that. Give me um Revelation 2 and 9 and, and oh, Revelation 3 and 9. Those people over there claim to be Jews and call themselves Jewish. We're going we're gonna to just gonna let the Bible say. Read that, bro. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works so, and, tri read. and tribulation. So God know the real Israelites' work and tribulation. Read. And poverty. Who pour over him? The Israelites. Right. We living in the ghettos. Read. But thou art rich. You know why we rich? Because everything on this earth belongs to us. Yes, right. right. Read. And I know the blasphemy. God says he know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Who's saying they the Jews right now? Who's saying they the Jews? People in Israel. Those people over there, them Israelis, them Ashkenazi, right. them uh, Amalek. Amalek. Right. Caucasians. Read. And are not. They ain't the Jews. We the real Jews. Yeah, Read. Right. But are the synagogue. They're the what? The synagogue. Of who? Of Satan. That's who them people are. That's right. You understand that? Y'all understand that? Go back to Isaiah 14. We're going to show you what you got coming, bro. Right. We're going to show you what you got coming. Read. Isaiah out. chapter 14 and verse 2. And the people shall take them uh -huh. and bring them into their place. So we're going to take them and bring y'all back with us, read. And the house of Israel. The house of Israel shall possess them. Wait a minute. What's the put? That's your call over there? Do you possess it? Is that your possession? Is that your phone you got, cousin? Do you possess that phone? That means you own it. Read it again. And the house of Israel. The house of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read. Shall possess them. We're going to possess them, read. In the land of the Lord. In the land of the Lord, which is Israel, read. For servants. For servants. And handmaids. And handmaids. That's right. And, and they shall take them. Captives. So we're going to take them captives. Whose captives they were. Whose captives we were. Right. Who got us in captivity right now? We're going to have them captives. Yeah, you know right. that Read. And they shall rule. We're going to rule. We're going to be in charge. Right. We're going to be in charge. We ain't going to be on the bottom no more. Right. We're going to rule this world. Right. Read. And they shall rule over the oppressor. We're going to rule over our oppressor. Right. We're going to rule. Y'all understand that? Right. 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 Right
understand that. Y'all ready for that? Y'all ready? Right. Bro, you ready? They ain't self made team. This is my last question before I go. They ain't self made team. Because we, we trying to go home. We got to come back and keep God's commandments. That's, right. that's our only way out of this. That's right. Y'all must understand that's our only way out of this. Read this. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. Read. But the saints of the Most High. The saints of the Most High, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites. Read. Right. Shall take the kingdom. We going to do what? Shall take the kingdom. Y'all see all these brothers out here in prisons right now? I heard teaching God's word. Guess what we doing? Guess what we doing? We taking the kingdom, read. Right. And possess the kingdom. We gonna possess the kingdom, read. Forever. Forever. Even forever. Even forever. And ever. And ever. That's right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Matthew. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.